Hi everyone, welcome to Karen from tillycrafts.co.uk. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and uh, I'm bringing you a Make It Thursday video today. So I thought I would bring out this wonderful As You stamp set. It's in the June, January to June uh, mini catalogue um, and I just thought we'll have a play with this. I have used it before but only for a, um, the Sending Positive Thought Sentiment and these are the two cards. I've got this one to somebody as wonderful as you. It's hard to say goodbye, which would do as a leaving card. And then this one, I know it's been a tough, it's a tough day. Just know that I'm here for you. So that's just a nice one that you could send to somebody who's having not such a good day. So let's get started. Um, I've already uh, put my stamps on blocks, so I'm using these stamps here. Um, I have already stamped the sentiments uh, because we've got a lot of uh, blending to do today. So let's get started. I um, don't know which one to do first. Let's do this one first. So we have an A4 sheet, cut in half, scored in half. So I've got my two card bases ready. I have a Bermuda Bay layer, which I'll just put on there like so I might actually trim it down another bit more of what I'm liking my white borders at the moment so I might trim that down so at the moment it measures three and seven eighths by five and a half so that is a bit too long no it isn't five and nearly yeah just over five and a half and my whisper white layer is three and five eighths by five and three eighths so i'll trim that down after um i've already done my sentiments so i've got it's hard to say goodbye and to somebody as wonderful as you so i will just chop them out and i can't remember which punch this is at the minute it will be on my blog I'm having a uh, mental blockage today, I think. So I stamped that in Memento ink. And I'm just going to line it up in there like so. So that's that sentiment done. And I will find out the name of that, like I said, and put it on my block. I don't know. Right, and somebody as wonderful as you. I'm just going to bring my little trimmer in. I'm not that good with scissors. I know some people are really good with scissors, but I'm not. So I'm just going to line it up in my trailer. And then just line that up so it's level. Like so. That's not too bad. And then to get the tailored tags on the end, all I did... Well, so I'm just going to chop that down a little bit because I don't want them that big. Cut up the centre and then cut in towards the centre where you snips like that. Same again here. Chop that bit off. There we go. So that's those two done. Now to finish these off, what I decided to do, if I can find it, Bermuda Bay. I took my Bermuda Bay dark and I just basically went around the edges. So you don't have to give a layer, but it gives the appearance of a layer. So all I did was just go around. Like that. That's one. And I did exactly the same on this one. This one doesn't have a layering punch to go with it. Now you can cut out two labels and start cutting them in half and things, but <clears throat> I like this idea as well just gives the appearance of another layer but you don't have to put another layer on it there we go and it doesn't matter if it's like that I like it 
and we'll put some gems on afterwards. So, <clears throat> I did make a mistake on my other card, my original card. It's Well, it's not a mistake, but I thought when I did it, I, I did all the stamping first and then realised I should have put this on first to see where I am actually going to stamp and then I don't get everything everywhere. So, we'll do that this time. So, I'm going to want one sentiment about there and then the other one at the top. So, I'm going to want my nice little taxi in the middle. Right, let's bring my taxi in wherever he's gone. There. So, these are red rubber. So, it's a cling stamp set. And I'm going to have my little taxi further up this time. Just about there. And then I'm going to have my person with the umbrella. Because I thought this was a bit close last time. And I'm going to have them just about there. Fabulous. And that's it for the memento on that. And then I want my raindrops. So my raindrops, I'm doing those in balmy blue. So now I can remove these. That's fine. I just need to... Uh, I've got a bit of paper here. I don't think I cleaned that properly last time. So I'm just going to stamp some little raindrops because the sad people are leaving just gives a little bit of a background as well I don't want to press on too hard because can you see how I've got little lines on it and that's for me <clears throat> not pressing on proper but I shall cover them up with some gems Gems answer to a lot with me. <laughs> right, so we are going to have what's this one? I don't want bronze trousers. I picked up the wrong one there. I'm grab crumb cake trousers. here no real branding just uh, colouring it in and I think I want a light melon mambo coat I like uh, melon mambo and Bermuda Bay together even though it's just a little coat like so Um, whoops, that's not a stamping light marker. Because the shoes are so slow, slow, small, I'm just going to use my uh, stamping light marker to go over those. And I want to go over these as well. I did it in black before and I don't know if I want to do it in black again, even though tyres are black. It will have a light seaside spray umbrella when this goes live it should be march time so i'm praying that we might have a lift on the lockdown which would be good right i'm going to do a light daffodil delight taxi this time i didn't want to do a black taxi because um it'd just be too black <laughs> it's not the best coloring because i can't get my head over it so forgive me that But you can have whatever colour you want. 
and I used a bit of pumpkin pie for the lights. Well, actually, no, we're going to have red lights. These are the bright lights, I think, at the back. go and I am going to do is this my grey granite I'm gonna have grey granite wheels I just think they look too black on the first card I did so do that and the dark for the center I like this about these because you can chop and change your mind as to what you want to do and what you want to have on it. So that's that. So let's get this one put together. Right, so like I said, I'm going to trim that down a little bit. So we'll stick that on. I do like quick and simple cards, you know. found um, an excellent fold card the other day one that I've not seen before so I am going to recreate that on one of my videos I do like finding new things Oops. to connect to that now there we go so put this one down yeah this one's going down flat here yeah I'm really I'm really liking having a white border <laughs> right so we need dimensionals for these now Which under here I'm in the midst of using this packet up so I'm being really good and using them up Waste not want not thrifty crafter. Oh, my God, it's snowing. I can't believe it you wouldn't believe how much snow we've had over the last week or two and we don't normally get snow here at all look look at me what i'm doing upside down i'm sure you're all shouting turn it around <laughs> oops and when you've got it level let's pop it down oh my god i can't believe it's snowing don't think it'll stick though it never does here by the sea And I'm just going to cover that little smudge up there. And then I'm going to bring in these beautiful Artistry Blooms sticky back sequins. Love them. Um, <clears throat> these are in the annual catalogue. But I think they're just so well matching with these. Whoops. They don't keep flicking about everywhere. couple of the big ones on here whoops come back it's live today alive these come in a, um i think it's a set of four colors really like them come on there we go oh, i'll put that one there fabulous i like that card all right let's get on to the other one we're rocking here today until i forget what i need <laughs> i need that i need these all right so for this one let's bring this back in i just thought i would change the colors up 
so I'm doing this is the in colours paper this is magenta madness and misty moonlight comes with just jade bumblebee and cinnamon cider so I just thought I'd change this one round and we'll have the magenta on the back and we'll have our sentiments on the opposite colour and I've just thrown my scissors on the floor how clever am I let's bring my trimmer in I'm just going to make sure I line that up it's a little bit crooked for me that's better and if you can hear lots of laughter that's my granddaughter talking to her friends online like they do it's like i'm filming stop shouting <laughs> don't mind if it's just laughter but when they start screaming at each other it's not good Hey, nice one. Right, so how I got the borders. So for the heart, we've got a heart duo punch, and I'm using the scalloped one. And I'm just going to chop a heart out of there. So that's all done. Let's put the heart punch away. I'm getting better at this tidying up mark. Um, I'm just going to bring in. Oh no, sorry. This is for the long one. And all I'm doing is sticking it down. And then I'm just going to bring my trimmer in and do it nicely. Bob on. This is all the little bits done and then we've got some stamping to do in a minute. I was going to go to the shops but as soon as it's snowing I might not bother. Right, let's go under this. It's blowing a gale as well. I don't know whether these have come over from Europe or whether these have come over from America, these winds and snow. I know they come from somewhere. <laughs> right, so the colours I need for this one are light, just jade, light magenta madness, light smoky slate and light cinnamon cider. Right, so these are all ready to go. I need my card to stamp on. And we need the flower and the butterfly and the memento. Now, what I did with this one is I did measure it out as to where I want my flowers. So, and if it doesn't stamp like it didn't stamp before, I can show you. There we go, what I did. So I'm just measuring it as to where I want my flowers. lovely jubbly like that so that's my flowers sorted now if you ever do stuff like this and you're using the cling mount stamp set and obviously if you're not using a stamper artist and it's a bit doesn't look like it's taken you can get your stamp right marker and you can just go over the lines like that and then it makes it perfect and nobody will ever know right so next we want some butterflies 
the, the butterflies. So that's going to go about there. So we'll have a butterfly there. Oops. Can't pick anything up. It's ridiculous. I'm going to have one over here. One down there. And one here. Lovely jubilee. Move those stamps out of the way. Put the lid on there before I get it all over. Sentiments there. Now the flowers. I'm doing the reverse. So we're going to do them in misty moonlight. So we've got, yeah, misty moonlight. So no spectacular blending on this. Just fill in the flowers, the petals. I'm so glad these colours are staying around for another year. I do get sad when colours leave us. I think when I joined we had um, lemon and lime twisting. Oh, and I fell in love with that colour. And then it went the year I started I was like no what's happening so each each year you get a new set of five colors and they last for two years so every year five colors leave us but they've been around for like the two years so this year it is the seaside spray Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile and Pretty Peacock, which are lovely colours in themselves. Right, and I'm just going to do me bits of blue on here. And then they're done too. They're all, I, I don't get kids these days, well I do get kids these days because it's not their fault but gone are the days when you go out and play. Well I suppose that's the world of technology today. And yet when you do get kids out they really enjoy it. I know my grandson today's off out um, <clears throat> with his mum and her partner and he's, he's helping clear a shed out and the burning stuff and rubbish and recycling things and he's going to have a whale of a time, I know he is. He likes being involved in stuff and he's excellent at breaking wood up. Oh, this is going to have a totally different look for the colours. Right, so for the body I use the cinnamon cider. Lovely colours these ones. Don't use them enough. And then for the pop of colour with the magenta. I hope you can't see the top of my head, by the way, because uh, you'll see my lockdown hair. Oh, I like these butterflies already. And by the time you see this video, we should also have a new butterfly set. Um, I think it's called Butterfly Bouquet or Bouquet, can't remember which is the right way to say that now. Um, only because we've had that many debates about it. <laughs> um, and it's a gorgeous set, can't wait to get my hands on it and start playing. Now, I have got it on order, but we're having a few problems with orders and Brexit. I'm hoping by March everything's all sorted out. They just seem to be taking a lot longer. 
but time will tell because we used to like before bre bre breakfast ha oh, that's funny before brexit we used to get our orders within five five to seven days i think it was and um it's just been not very good at the moment they are coming through eventually but it's like new stuff i want it now right liking this let's get this card put together and get some bling on it i've been um the other day i spent all day sorting my craft room out i've um and the hospice i contacted the hospice as well and asked them if they wanted any of the cards i've made up because i do get quite a few cards <coughs> that i make up like for videos and things and uh let's check that's on right yeah for videos and things and then i got lots of spare cards and i just thought what can i do with them and then i heard somebody saying that sometimes the hospice will take them off you and i just thought it'd be nice so that they can give them to people who need a card when they've got other things on the mind and not necessarily having to think about going to a shop and buying a card so i'm so pleased they said they'd take them do have to wait for covid though to uh quieten down not quieten down um so they get some space because when they take things in i think they have to uh, put them into like a, a holding place for a few weeks and then they take them in oops so uh that's just gone a bit funny on that so they've told me that they will take them off me in a bit oh look at that how nice is that I've got I've got a lone strawberry on here from another project. I did one too many and put a, um, a dimensional on it, so I've left it on there because I will use it. But it keeps following me around. Definitely, strawberries are uh, one of my favourites out of this uh, January June catalogue. I'm so hoping that carries over. Right. This on. Oh, I've got an idea of who these are going to go to. Right, I'm bringing in my basic rhinestone jewels. I've got another packet here, but I think we might just be okay. However, pokey tool and one pokey tool coming up. I hope the light's not too bad. I'm, I'm suffering today with me light and things. Let's just like, move it like that. I don't know. Oh well, hopefully it'll be alright for you and you can see everything. I can't see the middle of my screen because my arms in not you know my camera arms in the way. But hey ho. Just gonna put a little one at the end of the dots. And then we'll put all these on here. And then we'll spread a few about. Let's put some near the butterflies. <clears throat> there we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Love it. Well, there we go. So there's um, my original card and the one we've made today. That original card and the one we made today. So I hope you've enjoyed that and that again like I said was with the wonderful as you set. Um if you want anything from my store please head over to my blog and click the shop and quite happy for you to take anything out off of me. Um I hope you can join me again soon and hopefully when I speak to you in a couple of months we might have some nice sunshine and not snowdrifts at the moment by the looks of it so stay safe speak to you all soon 